I've been journeying with uh, couples who are planning to get married, uh, planning to get married this year or next year, and uh, it's it's a joy. It's a joy to uh, journey with uh, these couples, and uh, some of them you know, they they find it like you know uh, they don't need a long time to to prepare for marriage. You know, they they think that you know a few months is enough for them to get to know one another, but some they think they need more time really to get to know one another. And uh, usually it's good, you know, to do a lot, like maybe around one year to two years, we really to get to one, to know one another because, of course, marriage uh, is a permanent thing. Yeah. You want to be sure that this is the right person that God, uh, that God wants you to, 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 to marry. And uh, so it takes time to get to know uh, people. Uh, and, you know, in, in our, in, in, during the time of Jesus, Jesus spent time also with his disciples. And he spent three years really with them. And yet, despite the three years of being with Jesus, the disciples still do not know uh, Jesus very well. That's why in, in our gospel today, Jesus asked, Jesus said to, to, to Philip, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Three years, not enough. Uh, and, 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 and it's, it's also this question uh, that Jesus asked Philip, Jesus is asking all of us, have I been with you and you still do not know me? Okay, I, I've, I've been reading this book, uh, The Devotion to the Sacred Heart, beautiful book if you want to, to, to read it. Uh, it's by Father John Cro Croset. I don't know if I'm, I'm, I'm pronouncing it well, but it's a Jesuit priest. Uh, and beautiful, and in, there's, a, there's a section here, it says here, it is not possible to know Jesus Christ well and not to love Him tenderly. A person who loves Him only coldly cannot be said to know Him. This complaint which He makes to His apostles reveals to us the sentiments of His heart. Although they had left all to follow Him, they did not love Him yet with sufficient fervor, because they still knew Him only imperfectly. Okay. And that's why this, this question to Philip, Jesus is asking all of us, He's saying, I have been so long in the midst of you. I have been with you night and day. I have been in your midst solely for the love of you. And yet, you do not know me? For if you know me, would you leave me alone always, almost always? So the Lord is asking us this question. Okay, do you know me? You know, uh, because if we know Jesus, if we know Jesus and how much he loves us, we will fall in love with him. We will fall in love with him. Okay? And we will love him in return. And the thing what happened there is that when we experience the love of God, the love of Jesus in our life, it will transform our life. People will notice that. And one thing that people would notice is that you can't keep it to yourself. You want to share that love to others. Okay. Despite people not accepting your message. In, in, our, in our first reading today, Barnabas and Paul, they've experienced this love from Jesus. And they can't help themselves but to share this love to others. And they shared it to the Jews. And the Jews rejected them. Okay. And, and Paul and Barnabas said this, It was necessary that the word of God should be first spoken to you, since you rejected and judged yourselves to be unworthy of eternal life. We are now turning to the Gentiles. Okay? So, don't get discouraged. Whenever you, you share that message of love, the message of hope to others, and they reject you, don't get discouraged. Don't stop. Just continue sharing it to other people. And, and it says here that, For so the Lord has commanded us, saying, I have set you to be a light for the Gentiles, so that you may bring salvation to the ends of the earth. When the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and praised the word of the Lord, and as many as had been destined 
for eternal life, became believers. Thus, the word of the Lord spread throughout the region. People were spreading this word. These people who knew God, who knew Jesus personally, have experienced His love. And they can't keep it to themselves. They can't stop from sharing. And that's what we have to do. You know, are, are, you, are, you, are you on fire with the love of, for, uh, for the love of Jesus? Can you keep, can you, can, can, can you, uh, can you, can you keep it just to yourself, this love? If, if you're not, if you're not, you know, uh, if, if you're not on fire with the love of God, for the love of God, and also if you're not on fire for, for sharing this message of love and message of hope to other people, it is an invitation for you to get to know Him more. Uh, a scripture passage that I want you to meditate today is from Philippians chapter 3, verse 7. Okay. Paul talking to the Philippians. Yet whatever gains I had, these I have come to regard as loss because of Christ. More than that, I regard everything as loss because of the surpassing value of knowing Christ. Jesus, my Lord. Meditate on that. Get to know Him, fall in love with Him, love Him in return, and share that love to others.